All right, art students, today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw the Minnesota state bird. It's called the common loon. All right, to get started, we are gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a eight and a half inch by 11 inch standard piece of paper. Then you're gonna also need a basic number two pencil and you're gonna to want to have a straight edge or a ruler. I'm going to start by making a border for my drawing. I'm going to measure on my ruler one inch. So from the very edge of my ruler all the way down to the number one, that's where I wanna make a mark, right there. Okay, on the other side over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to create a little mark right where it says number one. Then I'm going to line my ruler up so that it touches that mark that I just made over here and this mark that I just made over here. And I'm going to draw a straight line. I need to make sure my pencil is rubbing right up against the ruler. If it's not, I won't get a straight line. I also wanna make sure I'm holding down my ruler nice and tight with a lot of pressure. Otherwise, my ruler will wiggle on me and I don't want it to wiggle. Nice straight line and I'm drawing lightly. I'm not drawing too dark. Okay, I wanna do the same thing to the bottom down here. I'm gonna measure one inch with my ruler. You can kind of see in the corner here, there's one inch there. I'm gonna do one inch over here on this side. Then I'm going to line up my ruler just like I did on the top and I'm going to draw a straight line and I'm going to hold down my ruler here and I'm lightly drawing a line going all the way across. Now what I need to do is I need to measure in one inch coming from this side of my paper and as well from this side of my paper. So I'm going to line up my ruler with this edge of my paper over here and I'll draw a mark right here, right where it says number one. I'll do the same over here. And then I will do the same um, down here. And then I'll do the same over here in this corner. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my ruler down and I'm going to line up this dot up here that I made and this dot down here that I made. I want to connect them. Got my ruler lined up on both of, the, both of those dots. Now I'm going to draw a straight line. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to line up my two dots that I made. Just like that. So you should have a nice border, a one inch border going all the way around your paper. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to erase this line right here and you're gonna erase this line right here. Then you're gonna come over here you're going to erase this line right here and this line right here. And we're going to rotate the paper. We're going to erase this line right here and this line right here. Wipe away those eraser dust. Okay, erase that line right there. And the last one we want to erase right there. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna zoom back out here. There we go. Now the fun part. Now we get to draw the loon. I hope you're ready. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the loon's beak and head, okay? So your loon is gonna have kind of a triangular shaped beak. So we're gonna draw this like this. Okay, that'll be the top of the beak. 
Then we're gonna draw the bottom of the beak. Notice it has a slight curve to it, okay? Then, going from here, we need to start thinking about where the forehead is. So, right about here, on the top of our beak, we're gonna come out a little bit and we're gonna start swooping up with a curved, slightly bent line. And then we're gonna come around like that. Okay, and then on the bottom part of our beak, we're going to have kind of a straighter, like where its throat is, like that. We're gonna stop right there with that, okay? So now, what we need to do is we're gonna slide down to right about here. And we're gonna draw a little hook, like a, almost like an upside down J. Okay, right about there. Oh, maybe we'll go a little farther. Right about there, okay? And then we're going to have another line that swoops down like this, right there. Just like that. Okay. Then going from right here, we're going to draw a line to separate the top of our beak from the bottom of our beak. So this is going to look something a little bit like this. Okay. We're going to do an eyeball, which is going to go right about here. Don't make it too close to the top of your head. You want it right about here. Put a black dot in the center. Like that. Okay. And I think this is a little too much art. So I might want to erase that a little bit. We have kind of a slider bend. Yes. Like that. That's more like it. And then we have the neck come down a little bit. And then it kind of bows out like that. I hope that you notice how much I am erasing. I want you to know that when you're drawing, it's good to draw lightly, so in case if you make a mistake, you can erase it. And we're gonna start right here. And we're gonna draw a line that comes right here. This is where your loon has a cheek. Think of it as his cheeks or her cheeks, okay? Now right about here is where the wing is going to come out. Okay, this is going to be the bird's chest. We need to think about where the wing is going to go. So the wing should probably come way down here. And we want it to come up like this. And it's going to come back like that. Okay. And the loon has a really cool pattern with these vertical lines right here. And these are colored in white, in case you're wondering. And these lines are going to actually go tucked behind the wing. Okay, like that and uh, then what we're gonna do is right here where we ended on our wing we're going to do a little bit of a curved line like that down here we're gonna stop it right there where they meet like that okay now we're gonna start right about where the um, neck ends we're gonna come down a little bit notice I'm not drawing I'm coming down a little bit right about here we're gonna go like this and create the under part of the wing okay and your loon has got some feathers so we're gonna put lots of feathers on the wing so to do this they kind of sweep backwards like this one right there you can put one right there one right there, and one right there, one right there, and one right there, okay? 
Now, right about back here, there's another wing on the other side of the bird that we want to kind of make an indication of. So right about here, we're going to create another arced bump, okay? That's your bird's other wing on the other side. Now, on your loon's wings, there's usually some white speckles. So we need to add a bunch of white polka dots. And they can kind of vary in size, but I recommend that you kind of make them about this size. And there's a ton of them. And even on this wing over here, you can put a few white polka dots on the wing back there as well. Okay, now that we have that on there, what I can do is I can kind of create a little bit of a line down here, um, and then down here we can start adding the ripples in the water. It's kind of the fun part, because when the loon is swimming around in the water, it's gonna make a little bit of a splash. So we're gonna create a little bit of some wavy lines to show the wavy part of the water. And around here, we're gonna draw some more indications of some splashing and wavy water. And maybe even coming out from around the bird. This is really starting to look a lot like a loon, isn't it? That's wonderful. Now what I want us to do is back here, we're going to draw a little bit of a background for our bird, okay? Let's pretend that the lake, we're going to draw the, where the water ends on the lake, right there, and we can draw some trees our pencil. I'm going to hold my pencil this way, okay? Instead of holding your pencil like this, I want you to try holding your pencil sideways like this, okay? I'm gripping it in my fingers like this, all right? And we're going to draw like this. And you might be wondering, what is that back there? These are the trees. These are like some pine trees back there. Okay. And they don't have to be super detailed. It's kind of just a wiggly, almost like a zigzag kind of type of line. Okay. And those will be your pine trees. Great. Right. And then you can take your finger and you can kind of blend it in a little bit. Push hard. There. That's wonderful. Good job. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to do some outlining, okay? We're going to outline this bird with a black permanent marker. Now, if you don't have a black permanent marker, that's okay. I'm going to take a moment to quickly, quick outline my bird. Notice how I'm going nice and slow. And I'm being very careful.
12, right? And I am going to actually um, leave my trees in just pencil. I'm not going to use my marker for doing my trees in the background. I'll show and tell you why in a moment. After you have outlined your loon, then what I want you to do is to go ahead and color it in. I want you to enjoy watching me color this wonderful piece in. I'm going to find my colors. For the trees, I think I might like to do some green, but before I do the trees, I want to start with my background. I'm going to do a nice blue. Now I'm using colored pencils. You can use any coloring materials that you have available at home. And I'm just coloring really lightly, being very careful along my edges. I notice that along my horizon line, notice how I am coloring horizontally. I'm going side to side, not up and down. Then I'm gonna do my trees. I think I'll do a nice green color. Oh, this one's called basil. Again, I'm just going right over my pencil marks that I made with this green. And as you can see, the green color kind of helps it look a little more like pine trees. Okay, now I gotta find black. Let's see, where's the black? Here we are. Okay, so now the loon very dark bird okay so we have a very dark beak and the whole head is really dark all the way up to this part right about here okay this is all gonna be black the eyes are not black so make sure you're careful going around the eyes we're gonna do then is down here we are going to create another line right there and this is um, black right to about right there this part's white okay. now in between each of these um, like shapes you want to do some black in between Lots of black on a loon. It's a very dark colored bird. There we go. All right. And the whole wing is black. Okay. Whole wing is black. Black, black, black. Tons of black. Except, the, remember, these are white polka dot specks. So you got to be careful going around all of these polka dots. You want to leave those polka dots white. You got to be very careful.
the back wing back here is also going to be black. direction of my feathers. I'm being very, notice how I'm being very careful on my border. Not to go over here into my border. I'm being very careful right there. There's a reason for that and we'll get there eventually. Okay. This whole wing is black. Black, black, black. Tons of black. This part right here, there's sometimes are indications of some black lines or patterns like this on a loom. Not too much though. This is the, um, the chest of your loon. Okay. Now, some of you might be wondering what is the color of the eye? What color do you think the eye might be? You know what color it is? It's actually red. Let me get a red pencil. of black over it to make it appear even darker you could do that see how I'm mixing my colors together to make it darker simply by layering your colors you can do that all right and if you really would like to you can also color your water all right if you do that you probably want to do either the same color of your sky or you could do something else I'll let you decide. If you're doing a sunset, you'd have sunset colors. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm gonna rotate my paper for a little bit. Sometimes that's helpful when you're coloring to rotate your paper. Be careful against the border. There we go. Finish this off what I want you to do is I want you to create some type of a design for your outside so for example I might go ahead and I might make some straight lines here maybe try to create a really good looking frame for your work all your hard work. Now I'm just kind of creating a design. I'm just coming up
coming up with my own idea what to do inside of my border. There we go. And I think I like the pattern of the loon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create lots of these same dots to make it look like the loon's dots. Right. And then I think maybe on the very outside, I think I might just leave that um, plain. I think I'll just leave that plain. I like leaving the outside white. I'm going to color in with some black around all of these dots in my border. Okay. I'll show you a picture of it when I'm all done. Okay. I want you to have fun coloring it in. All right. I can't wait to see what your Minnesota state, board, uh, state bird, the common loon looks like when you're all done. Good luck. Have fun.